My name is John Clements and I'm formerly with the City of San Diego and the County of San Diego where I was fortunate enough to be the fleet manager for both of those organizations. And uh, I've been in fleet approximately 40 years and I actually started on the technical side as uh, an apprentice and then a uh, fire truck mechanic. Well, I think the obvious answer is that obviously the, the product that we maintain or work on has changed. The automotive and truck industry, transportation industry has changed significantly with technology, fuels. Um, it, it's easy to say that early on in my career the vehicles were fairly simple a lot less wiring and, and not uh, the complexity that we, we see today. But I think also that to a certain extent the people have changed, the, the way we manage people has changed. Um, the emphasis where it seemed like there used to be a lot of money in fleet and, and money didn't really matter, now it's, it's obviously a, an issue <clears throat> with all organizations and how we're going to efficiently use taxpayers' money. The best advice I could give an incoming fleet manager is to really, really focus on your people assets. Um, what they're thinking, what, what motivates them, how are we going to motivate them to get, to get things done that we need to get done, how do we retain them. Um, at the end of the day, fleet is all about people and getting things done. Um, vehicles are, are an obvious answer. but. People are real, are real resources that, that are the most important in the organization, in my opinion. One of my mistakes that when I started to work my way into the management side of fleet, um, I started as the specification, the engineer, buying the vehicles. And at that point in time, trying to do a good job, I would became a do-it-all engineer. I would make sure the purchase orders got issued, I'd make sure the vehicles got received and then one day a, an audit team showed up in fleet and although they acknowledged that I was trying to do a good job they instilled the fact that there's got to be checks and balances in government particularly because we're dealing with taxpayers dollars and I, I totally understand that now but I, I didn't at that time so it was an honest mistake but a mistake and, and something that I would correct you know immediately now knowing what I know now.